talking about garden trends for 2020, and one of the ones that is really important and fun is vertical gardening. We've done segments on this before. It's really coming back into a lot more style and vogue as people are thinking, can I go up instead of out, especially in an urban situation? It's a little hard to find a vertical green wall outside in the middle of the winter, but this is a great example of some of the possibilities. So what you need to think about is the material that you want to use to actually create that vertical space, how complex you want to be, and then of course what you want to grow on that wall. In this particular instance, it's a combination of all sorts of different materials. We have everything as something as simple as hardware cloth that then can be stuffed with, with the mosses and the coir and the kinds of small little breathable materials that will let plants grow in them. This one actually also has regular old shelf brackets and then the shelf brackets are holding boxes. And then within the boxes we have that growing medium and then of course the plants. The other thing that this wall has that is possible depending on the material you have outside is this one has a fig actually attaching itself to the structure. What you also need to be thinking about is the complexity of the management of these walls. Because just like everything else in the landscape, this is not a set it, forget it, walk away and think you never have to do anything again. That is particularly true if what you're trying to do is grow plants that you can eat on this particular vertical garden wall. You have a lot of options with vertical gardening that are actually sort of temporary, just in case you change your mind. As an example, these sorts of structures could sit in a container. You could grow vines, you could grow peas, even if you want something to eat. They can also sit in the garden and then become a part of the landscape or the sculpture. Other options are, of course, the trellises. And they are, again, pretty tough and pretty sturdy and freestanding. People always think of these trellises, whether it is the metal one or the wood one, as something that is just sort of flat in the garden. But you can hang containers on them. You could take the containers or the boxes that we saw in the previous shot, hang them on these frames and move them around. You can always also use the window box kind of frame that has the core in it that becomes another option for just creating something really interesting. Then you also have structures like this, and this one is obviously pre-made, but pretty simple because what you can do with this one is you can actually open it wide, set it low, grow vines up, hang plants on it, hang plants in it. When you are finished with the season, you simply close that up and put it away, or you could actually make it really narrow and then it gets taller. So you really do have a lot of flexibility with this garden trend. And of course, as with all things landscape, you start with what you're trying to accomplish. You take a look at the site or the location where you're wanting to grow those plants. Then you choose the plants and then you decide about the complexity of the management system, whether it is you with a watering can on a ladder if you're really short or whether you have a system that is absolutely automatic.